former world record holder must be the favorite to win gold unless Maurice Corbett can produce one of his long throws again and he's leading with the 85 and I think that's gone well beyond that but he's close to it he would have liked it to gone longer he's really well on form this season we saw him win at the World Cup with the 88 71 and I think he's chasing the Commonwealth Games record, which at the moment is behind the name of Mickey Rook, set way back in 1982. Just look at the force with which he delivers that. Force not as in being tension, just, I mean, look at that javelin. That was a very good delivery. Although by his standards, not what he would have liked to see. Uh, 85, 6, 7. Well, that's even better than his first round throw. While well, Steve Beckley is the biggest threat to the gold medal for Corbett, there are in fact four men in this field who's gone over 85 meters so far this year. No throw in the second round. So he has a big task ahead of him. They put a lot of aggression into that delivery, and I think it's gone well over 80 meters. It's gone well over 80 meters. Maurice Corbett did fish, finish only fourth. The yeah, answer so only is with an 83-53 at the World Cup. But here yeah, he can do much better with that distance. But um, it seems like he might even go much further as well. No sign of that elbow that bothered him at the World Cup in Johannesburg. He knew it was a good delivery. You can see that. Anxiously waiting for the javelin to back, and it's gone well over 80 meters. Now we have officials and everybody running up to check the distance, and I don't want to get ahead of time, but that might indicate a very good distance. It might, I'm saying it might, just have gone past the game's record. There's not a line in the sector indicating the game's record. There's only a yellow line indicating the world record, which is, well, about 10 meters further at 98.48. 88.75. Well, 88.75, that is his, his opening throw because he had no throw in the first round. And Marius Corbett takes the lead in this competition. <laughs> Steve Beckley definitely on for ma'am. He's a 89-89 at Gateshead was his best in performance in six years. Won the European champs also going over 89 meters. And how's he going to respond to Marius Corbett's 88 meters? Well, in typical Beckley style, he has responded in typical Beckley style, but I'm, I'm not sure if he's going to overtake. That's pretty confusing. Not having an indication of line in the sector it goes from 80 meters all the way to 98 meters at the world record distance so there's no lines in between but you can see the determination and that very quick arm action of steve backley so that is his best throw in the competition but not good enough to overtake Marius, which means that at the end of the rounds, when the order reverse, Marius Corbett will be the last to throw, and he will have that psychological advantage over Steve Beckley. He will be the last thrower in the competition. Steve Beckley. Well, he's got a competition on hand. He loves to get the last throw in, but that Oh no, will belong to Marius Corbett. Beckley, thrown over 89 meters just the other day. Always a good competitor. That was a very good throw by Steve Beckley. It was a very good throw indeed. And once again, we're in the agony of waiting to see what the distance will be. I'm coming through well over, yes, indeed. It was a good throw, well executed. 
giving a bit of safety there, making sure that he doesn't step over. And Buckley has to wait to see what that distance is going to be. Well, another good throw, but not good enough to take the lead. 86-26. That keeps him firmly in second place. With two throws left in the competition. He won the other two big competitions this year. He won the European Champs. He won the World Cup. And now Marius Corbett has come back to haunt him. 88-75, a new African record in the second round of the competition. Can he give us another big throw? Well, this one has gone well over 80 meters yet again. It's not bigger than the previous one. Maybe more 83, 84 meters. But it is good. And I'm glad that he's producing a good series of throws. He stepped out on the first one. African record on the second attempt, went over 80 meters on his third round and a 84-57 in his fourth round. So Mori is definitely the man on the day. Two rounds left in the competition, Marius Corbett, the leader. Steve Beckley. Well, somehow he always has to play second fiddle to somebody. Lost the gold medal to Jan Zalesny in 96 and to Maurice Corbett last year at the World Champs. <laughs> Delivering another wonderful throw. Going well further than his previous. I think he's not happy with that because he would still like it to go further. He knows that he's well capable of 89 meters plus. He's thrown that on two occasions and he's thrown that at big competitions when it mattered. Steve Buckley must have thought that 1998 is his big year. 87-38, that takes him, well, dangerously close to South Africa's Marius Corbett. But he only has one attempt remaining to pull out the big one. And Marius knows that he can't depend on the last round throw, if possible. He must put even more safety between him and Beckley. That was a very quick delivery with the arm. I don't know if he quite got the angle on delivery. No, it's just gone over 80 meters. It's just gone over 80 meters. And now it's a bit of nail biting and a bit of a waiting game. Once again, the arm just going a little bit to the side. Now, if you could have added back his arm on his last attempt to this throw of Marius, he could have gotten quite a good distance. But it's becoming a bit of a waiting game now to see what Beckley is going to do in his final throw. Third at the moment in the competition, Mick Hill of Britain. And his chance to maybe, just maybe, move into silver medal position. It was a good throw, but not good enough. But at least he knows that the bronze is safely his. So he can add a bronze to his collection of three Commonwealth silver medals. And really he's such a great thrower, has been for such a long time. Maybe not always being recognized for the great athlete he is. When you have to compete with a former world record holder and a guy with the stature of Steve Backley, that does happen. But Mick Hill takes the bronze with his best attempt of the competition being that 83-80 in the fifth round. Well, there's a lot of applause from the spectators. They enjoyed seeing him. There was another good attempt by him, but it's not going to bring in the goal but always smiling the way Steve Beckley is 87-38 his best attempt and look at that series of throws a great performance by Steve Beckley but Marius Corbett once again rises to the occasion 
and in what wonderful fashion. 88-75 on his second round. This is the final throw in the javelin competition. And it's another big throw, a bit too much height though. And this will pick just behind the 80 meters line. His only throw not going over 80 meters in the competition. You can see the angle of delivery just went a little bit too high and didn't quite get the distance. But it's difficult because on the last round, going into that throw, he knew he had the gold, he knew he had an African record and an exceptional performance by the world champion who is now also the Commonwealth champion, Marius Corbett. <laughs>